welcome to my first unboxing video. This half keyboard keypad called the Tartarus by Razer. So this is a version two. I'm assuming that's what V2 stands for. Don't really know what the first version would look like, but I'm assuming it's gonna look slightly different from this. So let's let's get into it. I don't have a knife, but I think, oh, okay, it's perforated, so you can just like run with your nails. I have long nails, so that was easy. Show you guys opening it up. Revealing, it looks like the gauntlet glove thing. <laughs> wow, it's, it's, it's a lot more interesting looking than I expected it. I thought it would be like a keyboard with a little pad, but the palm rest is quite aggressive. Way more than I thought, it like comes out. It's like a s elevation height of this, which is like the same size as my glasses. Pull it out out of the box. I wish there was a tab, but you know, it's not rocket science. Okay, so that's out. Let's place it beside it. And here's a cord. Let's place this cord next to it as we grab the paperwork that's inside. So, for gamers by gamers, a little booklet. It's cute, official. It's a little waxy. It almost feels like money, but it's not money. And here's a little pamphlet it has that I'm gonna whip out. Now whip it out. Whip it out. Here you are. So this is the Tartarus V2 by Razer. So pretty much maximize your Razer advantage by Synapse 3. I do have that because of my past keyboard Black Widow. Razer Black Widow. So that's, I think I don't have to update. So package contents, um, it has the gaming keypad. If, important product information guide I think is this as I don't see anything else in the box system requirements PC with a free USB port I have that uh, Windows 7 or higher internet connection and 500 MB of free hard disk space that was totally okay okay we got that then it kind of gives you a little bit of more rundown about what it has each type of switch keys laid out Sorry. It's yeah. So I'm not gonna read the whole book to you. But but one thing is for sure, we're gonna Ooh, it comes with stickers. Check it out. The booklet comes with stickers. Also the booklet shows that the palm rest is adjustable. So when I did say earlier that there was it was aggressive, my hand is pretty small, I can change that. I can change that. It's adjustable. Now we know, thanks to this manual. And cool, we got cool stickers. We got two. I can give one to my bestie. But first, I just realized I still left it in the foam. Let's take it out of the foam, give you a proper close up of the product that we're kind of looking at. Kind of. Wow, it's way lighter than I thought. I think it's a. Wow, the foam is, the foam is heavy. So here it is. Here it is. It looks like a glove. So you have the space bar right here on this side. It's a little toggle, but it has multiple clicks. So it's not a true dynamic toggle where it's smooth like a joystick, but there's it clicks. That's how you do it. There's a button up here. Not sure what this button will do and a little scroll. So let's plug in this bad boy. It comes with one singular USB. Classic USB. Oh, there we are, say setting up device. So when you plug this in, this is the window that comes up. Tartarus V2 is set up and ready to go. Let's go through this wizard. Select the software to install. I'm thought I had it all. All good. Adjusting the 
um, palm rest. You can remove the palm rest and adjust it accordingly to improve your overall gaming comfort. To do this, firmly hold your razor keypad, then lift the, and retach the palm rest to your preferred position using the other hand. This is so hard to take off. With this unit, I had to really struggle with adjusting the palm rest. After test gaming with the Tartarus V2, I've discovered that I really wanted to prompt you guys with this review. Hello everyone and welcome to the review part of this video. <laughs> so we just unboxed the Razer Tartarus version 2. And it was really interesting because I played with it all night. I played some League, lol, and I played some Black Desert Online, Medio. I set up different profiles for each. Just try to get accustomed to the different controls. There is a learning, a memory muscle curve, I suppose, with using this product because the buttons aren't where they normally would be on a keyboard. The one problem I did encounter with this is my hand is quite small. As a female and more on the petite size side, I'm five foot three. I find that I had to take the palm rest off because my hand physically couldn't fit and touch all the buttons. You know, it's 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 nice, it's really good. I think I can get on the bandwagon with this just because my hand physically can't handle how big this is. Personally, my hand hurts a lot. I game a lot, a lot. Like, you guys all know. Everyone has different hands. Even on bigger hands, I can't imagine it doing it justice. It's just really high up. And like, it, if it's touching my fingers and a person with bigger, um, bigger hands, unless you have like monster basketball hands, it's just gonna be touching here and their actual palm is gonna be hovering. So I found that just like a little bit of a flaw. I do like the palm rest. It's very good quality. The grippy part, I don't know, it's, it's comfortable. I, I really enjoy it. it was, it's a good product itself. It's just, they, I think, kind of dismiss the fact that it's not customizable. But then again, they're probably thinking, oh, this is a keyboard, not a very fancy mouse. Well, that's my review so far. I'd say out of five, I would give it a <laughs> two out of five stars. Reason why, not as customizable and adjustable as it kind of led on. If it's saying that in the feature, it should say two options for palm rest height or limited adjustment. So if you're on the same boat as me, you have smaller hands, or you're really, really nitpicky about comfort, and if you play for hours like I do, then it really matters. So please let me know in the comments how you feel about different products not fitting you, the struggle, and really, why the fuck are our hands such complicated mechanical creatures? I don't know, but I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch actually, so you can like hear me complain about <laughs> the struggles of finding things for my small hands. Anywho, see you guys later. Thank you for watching.